Hello everyone. Um, I did my advocacy project on recruitment for, of foster parents and adoptive and kinship parents. So I found that um, the issue in child welfare is that recruitment of foster care parents, adoptive parents, and kinship parents is low. The need to recruit foster, adoptive, and kinship parents is lower than the number of children in care. Um, this is problematic because some children go through many temporary placements and they end up aging out of the system without finding a family or a forever home. That can have a huge impact on a person's uh, psychological state. The need for foster and adoptive kinship parents should reflect the number of children in care. In a perfect world, we wouldn't need um, adoptive parents or foster parents or anything like that, but sadly that's not the case. There are about 415,000 children in foster care in the U.S. And while every ch uh, child needs a parent, the specific things they need from their parent is different. So recruitment of parents for specific children is also an issue. And when I say specific children, I mean children in certain groups or demographics like um, age, child, uh, race, like children with disabilities, um, children who have like behavioral issues or like trauma issues or something like that. So... Adequate training and education should be required, required for those who want to become parents to those children. And that should be implemented in the recruitment of foster, um, adoptive, and kinship parents. So, um, there's a shortage across the country. An um, example I found was uh, in Massachusetts, because of the rise in the population and care there, there were more children um, than homes available. So there wasn't a lot of homes, foster homes for those children. And I found that in Minnesota recruitment for, they had recruitment issues because um, they couldn't recruit the younger generation and a lot of the veteran foster parents that they had were retiring. So that was another reason for some shortages um, across the country. In Michigan, I think the need for re um, recruitment is high. There are currently 13,000 children in foster care. So and 300 waiting to be adopted. So th there is an, a need there. Um, I found some information about the population and those affected. Um, in Michigan, like I said, there are 13,000 children in foster care and 300 looking to be adopted. Um, I found some information in 2014, there were 13,452 children that were in foster care versus in Michigan and versus the 415,000 in the United States. Um, in Michigan, 7,581 entered foster care in Michigan and 264,000 in the United States. The average stay in Michigan was 18 months versus 21 uh, months in the United States. And the percent of children who stayed more than five years was 5% in Michigan versus 7 in the United States. I found that the age group most infected were um, children ages 1 through 5 in Michigan. It was 33%. In the United States, it was also 33%. And the second age group that was most infected were children ages 6 through 10. In Michigan, it was 21%. In the United States, it was 23%. I found that males were more affected um, by this issue. There was 53% in Michigan versus 52 in the United States, which is pretty close. But um, as far as races, I found that the most infected were white children and African Americans. And white children, it was 47%. For in Michigan versus 68% in the United States and for African American children, I found that it was 33% in Michigan versus 16%. So the African American like ratio or that percentage, 33% in Michigan and 16 in the United States. So those are like that group is pretty much targeted or I won't say targeted, but that group is affected pretty heavily by that. Um, I found that foster care placement. Um, 36% of children in United, in Michigan are with a non-relative versus 48% in the United States. And I found that, um, 31% in Michigan are with a relative versus 29% in the United States. And, in, um, group and institutions, um, 14% were both found that, uh, 14% of those children are with, in Michigan are in the United States are in a group home. Um, I found some adoption information. Um, and just a few facts. I found that um, white children in Michigan, the population is 68%, and foster care is 47%. Um, 
54% of white children are adopted and 49% are waiting to be adopted. For African American children, I found that there were only 16% in Michigan and there's 33% in foster care, which I found was pretty alarming because the, the, the population of children, African American children that are in Michigan is lower, but the population of children in foster care is higher. And I also found that 24% of children are waiting to, uh, are adopted and 31% uh, is waiting to be adopted. So there's less um, African American children in Michigan, but more in foster care. So I kind of found that interesting and less are being adopted. So some of the implications I found, um, as far as the adoption, I found that um, African American children, I found an article saying that African American children are not favorable to white children. The article is pretty much saying that white children are considered to be more valuable, so that's why they're adopted more. And I also found that the cost of, um, or the rates for African American children to be adopted is less than a white child. So I, I thought that was pretty interesting. And even though that white children are, they make up more in the United States versus like in population. It's still alarming that they're adopting more. Um, some of the causes that I found were, like I said, the younger generation is not interested in adopting or fostering. Um, there's a stigma about raising children that aren't biologically yours. And there's like people who want to have their own children so they don't want to adopt or foster. Um, some young people are more focused on their careers now. and and building families later. I know I'm a perfect example of that because even though I have a child, like I always wanted to adopt and I will adopt, but I want to have more to bring to the table before I expand my family. So I just want to be settled a little bit more before I, you know, have another child or bring another child into my home. But um, I also found that some young, uh, younger people aren't aware of how big the issue is and the need for foster parents are. Um, and I also found that veterans are retiring more. Uh, veterans, when I mean veterans, I mean like um, veteran foster parents. So they're retiring more and they're not bringing as many foster parents back in. So another issue I found um, was that the outreach is not targeted to meet specific needs or appeal to specific children. So pretty much um, 